Hi everybody, Lone Wolf here. <sighs> Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, good news and bad news. Good news is, I have two Pokemon to choose from here. I have a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur that I could be picking right now. So, I'm not going to pick the Pokemon. I'm going to leave it up to all of you viewing this video to decide the Pokemon for me. <sighs> unfortunately, you can already see the bad news. You see, I tried recording earlier, and unfortunately, I lost my recording. So, I'm just going to have to explain what happened, unfortunately. So, what happened was, I went into the dojo, I ended up fighting um, the Dojo Master Mustard, which, by the way, I think is a dumb name. I was given a dojo uniform, which I'll put on. Well, this is my dojo outfit. So, I was given that, and unfortunately... <sighs> yeah. I had to chase down a couple of super fast slowpoke. Unfortunately, I lost the recording to all of this. <sighs> yeah. I'm mad at myself for that anyway, so... I need to I need to figure out a way to make up for this. I can't restart because um, unfortunately my my uh, device saved automatically, so all of my recording is permanently gone. So I had to get Clara's outfit back from three slowpoke, but that's pretty much all that there was in terms of the recording. So <sighs> do forgive me, do forgive me, anyone who's doing this, but. Again, this is out of my control. So... Leave without changing. Okay, so... Once again... I'm gonna do what I can the next time to not lose my recording. But yeah. This guy was running a level 60 Mianfu and a level 60 Shinx, and I used both my Eevee and Manitric to beat it. I was able to level up my Manitric as well, as you can see. To level 100, completed its um, EV training and has its IVs already up. So, I used a... I think it was a Timid Mint I used to change the uh, stack gains it would get. It doesn't change the nature, sadly. So, I have a Lonely Minitric. I need to get an ability capsule for its ability, because Minus is not a useful ability. Um, I may not be able to change that, but oh well. So, there's that. So... I'm going to let all of you, this is another piece of homework that I'm going to have all of you viewing this video decide on. Should I pick a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle? And both of them can Gigantamax, so I want you to decide which one I should pick. So, I won't proceed into, into this until you do decide on the uh, Pokemon. So, I'm so mad at myself for losing my recording, but... Pretty much all that happened was me entering the dojo, fighting the dojo master. They said that he held back with a Mianfu and a Shinx. And I pretty much had to chase after uh, three Slowpoke who were miraculously super fast, which doesn't make sense to me since Slowpoke are supposed to be slow. So that's pretty much all that happened in this case. So, yep. You still haven't answered my question, by the way of what I should do, or pretty much what a Nuzlocke challenge is. So I'm still waiting on that answer. And pretty much these two, another piece of homework for my viewers, for me to continue this series. So, with that being said, let's continue the exploring. So... A couple of my, packs, a couple of my pack members mentioned the idea that Maybe some new clothing that I could um, get myself. So, 
seeing as there are no places here that I can actually utilize for the time being, I'm going to have to go back here. I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to go to Winden and check out what I can find. All right, let's see what the new uh, hairstyles are. Okay, so I have my style card. Let's check out the hairstyles. This is the uh, out this is the um, hairstyle I had at the dojo. Again, I'm sorry for losing the recording. Ugh, this must be what uh, Team Yell uses. Side part fade. This is pretty much uh, Chairman Rose's um, hair. Um, what else is there for colors? Hmm. I guess this is it for the male outfits. I mean, for the male uh, hairstyles. Just get it over with. Now, what about for outfits? Let's see what they have for outfits. Hmm. Okay, let's check out the. Um... Okay, so. I could change my jacket if I wanted to. Hmm. I like to dress clothing. Oh. Okay, so I can get loafers. I could change my traveling bag. It looks nice. No new hats. Hmm, formal gloves. Hmm. That's pretty much it. That's not much to offer, in all honesty. I also got the experience charm from uh, the people at the dojo, so I can actually improve my experience a little more now. So, boutiques and hair salons are pretty much what the style card can do. And that's pretty much it. Other items on my list I would like to figure out is... Um, What can I do with this Galeria twig? Maybe there's a person I could find that does this. Let's see what I could do online. Oh yeah, in case if I didn't mention earlier, I came across um, a diglet, and now I have to ca now I have to find like over 151 diglets. So yeah, that's the indicator. <laughs> See, they're pretty easy to find. Let's begin. Wow.
sorry guys, but I'm Gigantamaxing here. I already know what move I'm using. going. Wait, it refilled itself? It's done. All right, let's see if it works, or let's see if I can capture it. There's a there's a uh, there's a percentage range for uh, online play, so no guarantees. Go. I caught a Zoroark. Nice. I wonder what I can use the Armorite Ores for, except for exchanging. It's like something I can like, exchange for, like, um, items. Someone who actually goes to buy them. That's what I want to know. Okay, let's check the stats. Oh, its stats are amazing. That's good. Hmm, its, it's nature is not good. Hmm. Zoark has mixed has a mixed package here for special and regular attack power. So, it's not, it doesn't have the best, it doesn't have the best nature. I can make up for this if I were to, if I were to give it a specific mint, I can use that to make up for its uh, nature. Yeah, its power is more towards special attack as opposed to attack power. Its speed and attack power are very much equal. So, we may have another special attacker on the team. <laughs> It's pretty fragile in terms of defense and special defense, though. So, hmm. I could probably fix that. I'll have to grind for the next mint if I were to add this one to my team. So, that's one option. Hmm, Malamar. Hmm. Yeah. And let's get started.
Let's go. Hmm. combat. it up. Not gonna stop me. I didn't do much. Hmm. Takes care of that. Because of contrary, it gains the uh, power as opposed to reduces it. This is why I want uh, Malamar team. Let's cuddle. has been caught. Alright, let's check the stats on you. Another one with amazing stats. That's just pretty good. Hmm. Its nature is not the best. Hmm. Yeah, it has more attack and defense. But contrary, very much does the opposite of what the uh, stat changes are supposed to do. So... Like, say, if I wanted to... Uh, like, for example, Superpower is a good move for it to have because it lowers the attack power and defense power of the Pokemon who uses it. But because Malamar has Contrary, it gains attack and defense as opposed, making this a very, very good move for it. Otherwise, the other moves it can learn, I can definitely give it. This Pokemon may as well, this Pokemon may as well be my tank. So... I think I'll add Al I think I'll add Malamar instead of Zoroark for this one. Sorry, Zoroark. 
Besides, this team needs some diversity. So we'll definitely keep Malamar. We need to train it for sure. Let's check if I have a careful mint I can give it instead. To try to change its... Uh, In terms of the um, in terms of the items I currently have, I don't think that's going to help me too much. So I will definitely need to fix that up. Um, okay, serious, naive, jolly calm. Nope, I don't have a careful mint. I need to get a careful mint for its stats, so I'll have to do that outside of the, um, outside of that. Um, let's see. Malamar's part of our team now. I'll have to train it some more, which is fine. That is fine. Now, let's see if we can try to do one more, one more raid battle before we end this video. Oh, here we go. Yeah, invite others. Oh. Nice. She's got a... Uh, Crimson's got a Dawn, or a rather a uh, Twilight Lycanroc. That's cool. Or the Dawn form, I think it's called. of different colored Pokemon here, too. Not bad. Alright, let's go. Same typing, so it won't get attracted, which is fine. I'm just going for the damage at this point. Tough Claw is its ability, so close combat would do a lot more damage. Hmm. That's pretty weak. That's a useful move to have. Let's cuddle. Takes care of your shield. Hmm. Special defense doesn't matter since Tauros is a physical attacker. Okay, Tail Up's a different story. Drudigan's pretty slow, though. I don't use Drudigan, though. Let's see if we can capture this one. 
There we go. Caught a Tauros. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. No. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I spent a little bit of time in my last recording trying to capture a Tauros because I actually wanted that to be my next Pokemon. So, getting it through a raid battle is a lot more better because it improves the opportunity or it uh, it increases the likelihood of having Pokemon with higher uh, Okay. Its stats are great, which is not bad. I can, I can fix this. But th that's our Tauros for now. So I can definitely fix this. Um, and it's got great, it's got a great nature too. I, I don't need to fix the nature. Adamant is what we want. Um, I can check for Jolly in a moment. But Adamant's a good nature for it to have. Let's check. Um, I have a Jolly Mint. Right here. Speed will grow, but its special attack will glow, grow more slowly. Hmm. Interesting. I should probably give it the Jolly Mint. Since, well, it's not a special attacker. It's very much more of a physical attacker. So you know what? I'm going to do that. So special attack will raise more slowly, which is fine. But Adam, it's, it's got the perfect nature. It just needs better stats. Okay, I have only one bottle cap. I need to get more bottle caps in order to improve their... I could hyper-train them once I level them up to 100. It's not going to be hard at all. Alright. We're back. So. We have the four Pokemon we're going to use for now. Um, whether it be Bulbasaur or Squirtle, we might add either one to our team. So first and foremost, let's actually, before I forget, let's see if I can, um, let's give it some Dynamax candies. Let's give them both some Dynamax candies. Look at how many Dynamax candies I have. So, both Tauros and Malamar are permanent members of the team for this DLC. So I'm going to save my progress. Now. Remember. All of you viewers and subscribers out there who view this video. You have the option. Either a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle. I'm leaving that entirely up to all of you. I won't pick, and I will not continue with the game until I see some answers in the comments section. Again, my apologies about the recording. Um, really not much happened. Um, Clara, I have, um, I've gotten her outfit back because some slowpoke took it away. I defeated the Dojo Master but he was holding back, according to what I know. And I promise you all, that's legitimately all that's happened. I pretty much just entered the dojo, just went through initiation, so I'm currently a student, and I got the outfit. So, <sighs> I hope what I did in this video made it up to all of you for, for my lack of judgment in terms of my recordings. 
So yeah. Once again, this is you all's homework for this series. And for the next video, of course. Which Pokemon should I pick? Bulbasaur or Squirtle? And for the future of this series, after the DLC is over. I want to know more about Nuzlocke challenges. So I could potentially do it for Pokemon Shield. So I need to know more about it. More than I already know. So if any of you viewing this video know more about Nuzlocke challenges than I do, please let me know down in the comments on what I should do in terms of like rules or in terms of how to initiate it for Pokemon Shield. And I'll begin Pokemon Shield after the DLCs. Otherwise, I await all of your answers in terms of which Pokemon I should pick right here. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Feel free to drop a like, feel free to subscribe if you want more, and stay tuned. Like I said before, please post your answers to this question down to the comments section. Bulbasaur or Squirtle for the Pokemon I should pick. And once I get some answers, I will pick it in the next video. So until then, I await your answers, everybody, and thank you all for watching.